Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Diamond 18 and today we're making a video which no Celtic fan um, was wanting to see, and certainly as a Celtic fan, it's a video that I didn't want to make, but uh, I don't know how long this video's going to be, by the way. This could be very short, it could be very long, because my points are quite simple, my points are quite straightforward about it all, um, but I, Kieran Tierney looks destined to be leaving Celtic, and um, it's something that the, you know, the Celtic fans are, you know, surprised about you could say surprised me personally i'm not surprised because when the opportunity comes knocking from a top you know six side in england you know your arsenals your man united your chelsea's no matter how much love and devotion someone is going to have for celtic it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and you've got to expect somebody of kieran tierney's age who can have his wage tripled he can have his career changed his life changed everything that you can possibly imagine You've got to think that they would take that offer. And it looks like he will now move to Arsenal. Maybe. that All we know is a, a better bid has been submitted. So let's have a little kind of retrospective over the, the, the whole Kieran Tierney transfer saga. If you like to call it a saga, there's not much of a saga there. But uh, Arsenal did come in a couple of weeks ago with a £15 million bid for Kieran Tierney. Celtic basically turned around and said, fuck off. Um, quite rightfully so. Pardon the French, by the way. But... Uh, 15 million, quite an insulting offer if you ask me, but now they have improved it to what apparently Celtic's asking price was, and that's 25 million pounds um, for the left back. Now, a lot of money, it'll be a record for Celtic, the biggest sale in the club's history, overtaking that transfer of Moussa Dembele to Lyon last year. 25 million pounds to go to one of the biggest clubs in England, um, and you know what, it's an offer that me personally I think is still not what reflects the value of Kieran Tierney. Um, but it's just because of the, the, the league we're in and it, it's just a reality we've got to deal with sadly there's only so much rejection that you can give these clubs before they go oh, well, we'll just go elsewhere um, because they know they're not going to pay any more than that sort of money for players up here no matter how talented they may be now the easy comparison that everyone wants to use is the Aaron Juan Bissaka transfer uh, you know £50 million for a player who's never played in Europe had one good season at Crystal Palace and he's worth that amount of money but you've got Kieran Tierney who's had two solid seasons one filled with injuries but still good two solid seasons though where he played fantastically in European football as well and yet we're only getting £25 million for him and um, yes it's, it's an outrage but there's only so much we can do and we can't turn down that offer now um, it, it ultimately comes down to Kieran. Does Kieran want to leave behind his boyhood club? It's probably a, a big decision for him. He knows that he's got a lot of pressure from not only uh, you know Arsenal, who'll be offering him a lot of money, but the fans because he wouldn't want to receive the treatment that you know Brendan Rodgers got when he left Celtic in February. But let's have a you know bef there are Celtic fans jumping on Kieran Tierney on Twitter I think the majority are on the respective side of things the things that are understanding uh, and that, that is good because as I, I believe the side we should be on let's let's take a quick comparison here Brendan Rodgers left the club in the middle of the season when you know we weren't you know guaranteed the league title when we still had competitions to win uh, and just really out of nowhere with no build up just left the club without saying a thing didn't even give us a farewell Kieran Tierney stuck out three mag mag magnificent seasons. Four if you include his debut season, right? But we'll go for the three main seasons. He's been here through a treble treble where he's been the golden boy at the club. And he's still a young guy and he should be allowed to make a career choice that he feels benefits him. It's once in a lifetime. And you know what, if he takes the offer, he takes it. I'm personally rooting and hoping that he will stay at the club because he's a magnificent talent. He bleeds Celtic. It's the kind of player you want. You want someone who understands the importance of playing for this club. Someone who understands the passion behind it all. Someone who's a supporter. You know, it's always good to have those players around. And yes, we're doing well at bringing up these young guys. You see people coming into the team. You see the likes of Ewan Henderson coming in. Um, you, that was the first name that came to my head. You see all these young guys coming through the system and it's great. Um, but Kieran Tierney really did help bring that to the next level. Bring the connection between fans and players. And you see how interactive he is with fans. You see how loved he is by fans. It'll be a big loss in many ways. Not just with talent on the pitch, but just as a, a human being surrounding the club. It will be a devastating loss for Celtic if he does leave. And it's why I want him to stay. But we can't hold a grudge. £25 million pounds that Celtic are going to get. Fantastic. But we need to reinvest it if we get it. But we'll come on to that if he goes. There's no point talking about it in case it doesn't happen. Um, I mean, he might even fucking fail his medical. He's not fully fit, but I imagine he will get past that. It's not a big concern anymore. Um, really, it comes down to him now. And he's got a massive, massive chance to change his, his and his family's life. 
And we can't disrespect him for that. If he wants to follow a dream, he can follow a dream. The, the sources from inside Celtic, according to the Daily Express, I believe it was, um, are saying that he is, you know, wanting to go. He's wanting to go to the Premier League. It's been his dream. He wants to go there and he feels like he's done enough at Celtic. So fair play. Uh, if he goes, he goes. With Brian and Bombo, maybe we need more depth there now as well. We bring in someone else. But if we get the money, we do need to reinvest it. Um, it's sad to see a player of such, you know, quality and with so much respect around him perhaps leave the club. But it's not done yet. All we know is £25 million bid has been submitted. Will Celtic accept it, first of all? And will Kieran Tierney accept the contract offer as well? Arsenal fans, you... Um, you stay my tits in, not going to lie. But you are getting a fantastic player if it happens. But I guess we'll get more news. We'll, um, we'll go through it all. And when, when the big news breaks, we'll talk about it more on the channel. He's a fantastic player, and as Celtic fans, we shouldn't, you know, tirade him with abuse. Um, he doesn't deserve it. He's given, so far, a magnificent amount to this club, and the passion that he shows for the team. Yes, I'd love it to stay, but if he goes, he goes, and it might be for the benefit of him and his career. Uh, you don't get many chances, and this is a perfect time for him to go and do it. Leaving behind, perhaps, a chance to go and win 10 in a row, which would be sad because he's the type of guy you want to see be there for a moment like that, but it's a long time to wait and these chances don't come around all the time. He has to play to a consistent standard, which I have the faith he will do, but who knows, maybe injuries will keep coming up and maybe he'll never get this chance again. You've got to remember that. It's a big, big opportunity for the guy. And uh, if he takes it, he takes it. But £25 million, what is your opinion on this? I believe we should be getting more money, but there's, as I said, only so much you can do in this league. Uh, let me know your opinions towards Tierney leaving the club in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. It's been a shorter video, but more news is going to break. We're going to hear stuff around the transfer, and we'll talk about it more in the future. Uh, if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, as I said. And see you all next time.